Minnesota Fighting Vikings training camp is right around the corner. Now, of course, all of the storylines are going to be about Justin freaking Jefferson, Kirk Cousins, Daniil Hunter, Harrison Smith, etc. But training camp is about the bottom of the rooster, guys. We're talking about the guys on the 90-man just trying to get a spot on the practice squad uh, or 53 and just contribute in some way, some fashion this season. So here are our top five surprise contributors uh, for the Vikings in 2022. And now we're not talking about guys who are bottom of the roster all of a sudden become superstars. Now nah, we ain't talking about that. We're talking about guys who can fill a role, fill a niche as a backup, as a special teamer, as a, uh, you know, a tight end two, as a wide receiver two, etc. That's the type of guys that we're looking for. And a couple of these names may surprise you. First up, so offensive line, extremely important for the Vikings. Uh, interior offensive lineman Austin Schlotman. So he's the third and forgotten free agent uh, pickup for the Vikings this offseason. Chris Reed coming from the Colts. Jesse, oh, I should have Jesse's offensive lineman coming in from the Dolphins. Yes, uh, but Schlotman is only 26 years old, former TCU Horn Frog. Uh, spent three years in Denver uh, with Chris Cooper and Justin Riscati, the two new offensive line coaches. Also, Important, Curtis Motkins coming over from Denver, uh, who's a new running backs coach and run game coordinator. So already there's a triumvirate uh, of coaches who have worked with Schlotman before. He started seven career games, uh, played right guard and center, has gotten some work at center this offseason for the Vikings. So I would say Chris Reed does secure the starting right guard job, and they do roll with Bradbury. It's possible that Schlotman uh, does slide in as the uh, as the true backup center for the Vikings. It's uh, He does have that potential. Uh, he could be the new Brett Jones. Hell, Maybe a little bit pie in the sky. Maybe he's no new Joe Berger, who, like we said, was a journeyman who bounced around uh, several places, Miami, Dallas, before landing here in Minnesota. He was just seen as a guy who's going to be a backup. And then you can make a very good case that Joe Berger was the best uh, Vikings offensive lineman of the 2010s. But Schlotman, uh, we'll see. Uh, I just want competition along the offensive line, and Schlotman could be a name that uh, pops up uh, a little bit more than you may think. Next up, surprise contributor number two for the Vikings cornerback Cameron Bynum now now Cameron Bynum definitely deserves some run uh, at safety he played great last year uh, in uh, replacement of Harrison Smith but with the addition of Lewisine and Harrison Smith still playing at a Pro Bowl level uh, Cameron Bynum they have talked about working in three safety looks yes uh, but remember Cameron Bynum was a fantastic cornerback at Cal. It was the previous regime uh, with Spielman and Zimmer uh, who moved him to safety, but he's got great size. He's six foot two hundred. Uh, played twenty three hundred eighty eight snaps uh, at cornerback at Cal. Uh, he does have the agility to move inside and be that big nickel uh, type player. Where say the Vikings, they have a traditional slot cornerback in Shannon Sullivan or Nate Harrison or whoever, whoever wins the job. Maybe even rookie Andrew Boo Jr. But uh, when you uh, specific matchup, say. Uh, the team that you're playing has a, a great move tight end or a joker tight end or a big bodied wide receiver that they like putting into the slot. I mean, Cameron Bynum could be that nice uh, sub package uh, player that you put in there as the third safety. Uh, so I, I do think that Cameron Bynum is going to get a, a lot of unique run, uh, sometimes as a traditional safety, whether it's free, whether it's strong in the slot, etc. I think that he is going to be popping up a, a lot uh, on the Vikings defense. Uh, next up, surprise contributor number three uh, for the Vikings this year, outside linebacker Andre Metz. Now, he's the guy that they picked up uh, during the offseason, sort of flew under the radar, but I actually... I'm very intrigued by him. So he's 23 years young. He's a 2021 UDFA out of Vanderbilt. He made the Broncos 53 last year. He showed a well in training camp and preseason, had four pressures and a sack uh, last year in two preseason games. He ended up on IR in October with a really bad hamstring injury, uh, played six games on special teams. But it's clear that Ed Donatel, who was a defense coordinator for the uh, Broncos last year, it's clear that he likes him, right? So, And the Vikings' new defense coordinator is b pop up a poop at Ed Donatel. So I do think that Andre Mentz has a little something something. Now, is he going to be, you know, a guy who's going to come in as a starter? Probably not. But is he a guy who could potentially make the roster as a dark horse, uh, play some good special teams, maybe work his way up, working with Mike Smith, working at Donatel continually? Yes. Good. He's a second-year guy who, as a UDFA, made it 53 last year. You, you can't uh, thumb your nose at that. You, you can't. He's got really good athleticism and size for a 3-4 outside linebacker and could be in the mix with Janarius and Wanham, Patrick Jones, and uh, you know, the two uh, rookie UDFA edge rushers as you know, potentially getting in that mix. We do love to see it. Uh, next up, surprise contributor number four for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, running back King. Oh, sorry. Hold on. King, it's good to be King. King, Kene, and Wangu. Oh, 
We're off screen now. There we go. Nailed it. Uh, so he's already best kick returner in the National Football League. That, that ain't going to change, right? Matt Daniels already raved about him. He's one of the first phone calls when he got the job. Uh, but Kenne, I think, is going to contribute more on offense this year. He's just an absolute physical freak. Yes, he does need a little bit more refinement, but I think Curtis Mockins can work with him uh, on that. Uh, he has gotten some reps with the ones this offseason, and I think that he – Maybe he's not ready to be an every down back. Maybe that's a couple years away because, remember, he was used uh, sparsely at Iowa State as he was behind David Montgomery and, the, and then Brees Hall, fantastic running backs uh, for the Cyclones. So it actually may even be better for the Vikings because you have a guy – who has all the potential in the world, uh, doesn't have the wear and tear of traditional star college running backs uh, coming in, and he's already established himself on special teams, and you have Dalvin, and you have Madison, and so you can work uh, him in. But I, I think that he may be too good not to give a couple snaps on offense. And with Dalvin potentially playing more of a wide receiver role this year, I think that King Kenne has a chance to you know rip off a couple snaps here uh, and there every single game and just be a, just a, another dynamic uh, force uh, on this already great offense and just another reason why defense coordinators can't sleep when they got the Vikings offense on the schedule. Lastly, uh, number five, surprise contributor for the Vikings, tight end Johnny Munt. Now, you may be like, who? But remember, Johnny Munt was the free agent that they brought over from the Rams. He's 27 years young, 2017 UDFA out of Oregon. Go Ducks. Uh, he spent the last five years uh, with Los Angeles. Uh, he's worked with Wes Phillips, who was the tight ends coach, remember, uh, for the Rams, who is now the Vikings OC. Uh, of course, Kevin O'Connell involved in the mix as OC the last couple of years uh, with the Rams as well. Uh, he's been a career backup, you know, uh, backing up uh, Tyler Higby as well as Jared uh, Everett when he was there. Uh, 493 career snaps, 10 career catches only. But he is a very solid uh, run and pass blocker. And plus, the tight end two competition behind Irv Smith Jr. is wide open, pun intended. It could be Davidson. It could be Muse. It could be uh, Ben Ellison. It could be a uh, free agent TBD. Hell, maybe they even bring Rudy back if things don't really work out. But everything is wide open. Like Johnny Munt, this is the best opportunity for him right now. And I'm not saying uh, that he's going to have a Gary Barnage uh, type uh, Cleveland Browns uh, uh, career season. A ain't saying that. But we, we have seen before that career journeyman, back well, not journeyman, he was on one team, but career backup blocking tight ends, all of a sudden having some some stank and some stability. You would absolutely love to see it, man. Yeah, you would. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's our top five surprise contributors for the Vikings in 2022. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.